Many people aren't comfortable discussing their final arrangements, but it's so important to plan ahead. Today I'm joined by Bobby Patel with Evergreen Funeral Home and Cemetery, a Dignity Memorial provider to help you get started with the planning process. And Bobby, it is so important to, to have those difficult discussions um, and you all can certainly help people get started. Yes, we can. And the thing about planning a funeral is it's different. We are in modern times now, so we have options. Burial, cremation, we help families in their hardest times, and that is what we're here for, and we provide services to families on a daily basis, and from all over, from cremation to burial, it really just depends on what the family chooses. What are some of the tips that you would suggest to get started with the planning process? To get started with the planning process is really to give us a call. Um, we have staff available 24 seven and, and we have families inquire all the time about services as far as pre-planning their services. And I highly suggest that it doesn't matter your age. You can never be- Never too early. Yeah, never too yeah. early to plan your funeral. Um, my, you know, my group of friends, I even talk about planning their services. No one ever wants to talk about it, but it is something that needs to be discussed mm -hmm. and you can plan for the future. And it gives that family that reassurance when the time comes that services are taken care of. You've taken away a little bit of the stress for the family that, that you certainly leave behind. Yes. Uh, you mentioned some of the services that you all offer and things have changed so much. There are so many different options. And I wanted to focus in on the cremation option because many people will take home their loved one's ashes in our urn. Are there other options for families as well in that cremation situation? Yes, there is. Um, we are a funeral home and cemetery, so we have a beautiful cremation garden and we have some new, um, some new cremation options coming to our cemetery this year that we're currently working on. So our cremation garden is beautiful. It is a place where families can choose to, if they want to take dad's urn, example, dad's urn home, they can take a part of dad's urn home and then have part of dad placed in our cemetery. And it, it's, a peaceful, it's a peaceful environment to sit there and our, our cremation garden is beautiful. And so it is something that families can come and memorialize yeah. their loved one instead of a place going to go home. And visit that right. person, I know. It's a place where you can reflect and have gatherings. And a lot of people will do, you know, memorialize family events at that location, right? right. They'll celebrate a birthday or stop by for Christmas or put flowers someplace. Right. Um, if that's really important for people. You know, for many people that will put their plan in place ahead of time, what's the best way for them to make sure that they've taken care of every aspect of planning ahead? How can they keep track? They can keep track by, we have a pre-planning guide um, for families, that is something that when you come in to make your pre-arrangements that you are given and that pre-planning guide has everything in there from what you want as far as flowers to songs and you as if I was planning my funeral, I would have it all documented. I would have my flowers, my songs, everything I want for my service. It's a pre-planning guide and that is Easy. offered wow. to yeah, families go online and check it all out. Thank you so much, Bobby. Such great information, important to know. And if you want to get started to learn more, just visit dignitymemorial.com slash details.